Brothers and sisters, welcome to the 41st anniversary meeting and 36th convocation of the Canadian Reformed Theological Seminary. Beloved in the Lord, at the instruction of General Synod 2010, the Board of Governors has appointed you, Brother Jason Van Fleet, as Professor of Dogmatics, and you, Dr. Yana Smith, as Professor of Old Testament at the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches. We thank the Lord that you have accepted the appointment, and we will now proceed to install you as professors. Brothers Van Vliet and Smith, it's with deep thankfulness and appreciation to the Lord that we acknowledge you as professors at our college, and we wish that the Lord will grant you his blessing. Does it not make obvious sense that the training of ministers is a task of the churches in common? John Calvin certainly thought so, as do the churches of the secession. Even when seminaries go astray, either because of faculty that will not be supervised or because of ecclesiastical assemblies that will not do their supervisory work according to the word of God, the principle is clear. It is in the best interests of the churches to see to it that young men are well trained in the scriptures and in the confessions and that they develop the necessary expertise, qualities, and gifts to proclaim God's good tidings to his people for his glory. May God continue to bless us as we again set ourselves to this task in the year of our Lord, 2010. 2011. Thank you. So in short, what is dogmatics? It is the study of the doctrines of the Holy Gospel, as summarized by the Bride of Christ the Church, which need to be taught to all nations and all generations. And therefore, we as his redeemed servants, we all strive to be loyal to him. For in this way, the Son who has redeemed us, the Spirit who sanctifies us, and the Father who created us, one true and triune God receives all the glory and all the honor. And ultimately, brothers and sisters, that's what teaching sound doctrine is all about. Thank you. We will now proceed to the conferring of the degrees. First one, Ryan Jarrett Compton. Senate of the Theological College of the Main Form Churches declares you Ryan Jared Campen, Master of Divinity. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives. Anthony Bryant Rokema. The Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Form Churches declares you, Anthony Bryant Rokema, Master of Divinity. Preach the word to be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, encourage with great patience and careful.
John Timothy Sycamore. Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches declares you, John Timothy Sikama, Master of Divinity. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Jason Henry Vandenberg. The Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches declares you, Jason Henry Vandenberg, Master of Divinity. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Aaron Peter Witten. The Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Reform Churches declares you, Aaron Peter Witten, Master of Divinity. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel. Final graduate is Sean Wagenar. Since Sean is not able to be in our midst this evening, his degree is being awarded in absentia. We've learned a lot these past few years. We've learned about the history of the church. We've studied doctrine. We've learned skills in exegeting scripture in Hebrew and in Greek. We've become acquainted with debates among scholars. We've learned that we have a lot to learn yet. But at the same time, it's not just about the work that we do. It's not just about how much we have learned. It's not just about becoming walking encyclopedias of theology. These years have been all about preparing us to serve the Lord, to serve his church, and to serve him with love. It was especially in our more practical assignments and in our internships that we were often reminded that all of this knowledge that we learn is useless if it comes without love. And it's my prayer that we will continue growing in knowledge and in love. Wherever God calls us to be, whether in the ministry, in mission work, or somewhere else, that we will keep on growing in love. <clears throat> 